Hello class, welcome back to my channel. In this video, I will show you how to transform the equation of the circle from general form to standard form. So, ang general form ng ating circle is equal to x square plus y square plus dx plus ey plus f equals 0. And yung ating namang standard form is x minus h square plus y minus k square equals r square. Okay? So, let's have example number 1. So, determine the center and radius of the circle x square plus y square plus 10x minus 6y minus 2 equals 0. So, dito guys, bago natin makuha si center and yung radius ng ating circle is kailangan maririte muna natin yung ating equation to center radius form or yung ating standard form. So, para magawa yun, ang first step natin dito guys is i-rearrange natin yung ating uh, equation kung saan magkasama yung ating x and y. Okay? So, try natin. So, dito we have x square plus 10x then we have y square minus 6y then minus 2 equals 0. Okay? So, napagdikit na natin yung ating x and y. So, ang next step natin dito guys is ililipat natin yung constant dun sa right side ng ating equation. So, magiging x square plus 10x plus y square minus 6y equals positive 2. Okay? So, kung mapapansin nyo dito guys, medyo nakaporma na yung ating equation na parang standard form. No, yun nga lang, uh, kung, kung natandaan nyo, dapat yung ating uh, standard form dito or yung ating binomial dito is dapat square of binomials. Okay? So, para magawa nating square of binomials yan, is may i-apply tayong method which is yung tinatawag nating completing the square. Okay? So, pag ginamit natin yung completing the square, is pwede na nating ma-rewrite yung ating uh, expression to square of binomials or yung ating trinomial to square of binomials. So, ang formula ng completing the square natin is, is b over 2 square. Okay? So, unahin natin i-complete yung square ng ating x square plus 10x. Okay? So, kung natandaan nyo guys, sa ating quadratic equation, yung tinatawag nating b is yung coefficient ng ating x variable. Okay? So, dito guys, sa ating x, uh, sa ating binomial, so, ang b natin dito is yung 10. Okay? Yung coefficient ng ating x variable. So, that is, uh, we have 10 over 2, then square. So, that is equivalent to 5 square, then that is 25. Tama? So, itong 25 na to guys, idadagdag natin dito sa ating binomial. So, magiging x square plus 10x, then plus 25. Okay, so meron na tayo yung tinatawag nating perfect square trinomial. Okay? So, next is gagawin din natin yung method dun naman sa ating y term. Okay? So, in this case, yung negative 6 naman yung ating b. Okay? So, that is negative 6 divided by 2 
that is negative 3. Then square, we have positive 9. So, ilalagay natin tong 9 doon sa ating uh, sa y natin. So, we have y square minus 6y then plus 9 equals 2. Okay, so dito guys, so since nagdagdag tayo ng 25 and 9 dito sa ating left side ng ating equation, so make sure na yung right side ng ating equation is dadagdagan din natin ng 25 and 9. Okay, so simplify natin yung ating equation. So since yung itong trinomial na to is a perfect square trinomial na, so, pwede na natin i-rewrite yan to square of binomial. Okay? So, paano ba tayo kukuha ng square of binomial? So, simple lang. Take the square root ng first term. So, that is x. Then, kunin nyo lang yung square root ng last term, which is 25. That is 5. Okay? Then, plus. So, same procedure, guys. Get the square, square root ng y square. That is y. Then, square root ng 9, we have 3. Yun nga lang, ang middle term niya is negative. So, ibig sabihin, ang gagamitin natin dito na operation sa binomial natin is minus. Okay? So, tandaan niya na. Then, we have 2 plus 25. That is 27. Plus 9, we have 36. So, ito na ngayon, yung ating standard form. Okay? Kung saan, yung ating h is equal to negative 5. Then, ang ating k naman is equal to 3. Then, ang ating radius is equal to r, r square is equal to 36. Then, ang radius natin is equal to 6. Okay? So, therefore, ang ating center ng ating circle is negative 5, comma 3 with the radius of 6. Okay? Nakuha ba guys? So, let's have another example. Number 2, find the standard form of the circle 2x square plus 2y square minus 8x minus 4y minus 8 equals 0. So, same procedure tayo dito guys. Yun nga lang, uh, bago tayo mag, uh, mag regroup ng ating equation, is make sure lang guys na yung ating x square and y square dapat wala silang coefficient. Okay? So, ang first step natin dito is we, we need to divide all the terms by 2. Okay? Same with 0. So, pag sinimplify natin yan, yung ating general form, is makakancel na yung ating coefficient ng x square and y square. So, on general form natin, we have x square plus y square, then negative 8 divided by 2, that is negative 4x. Negative 4 divided by 2, we have negative 2. Negative 8 divided by 2, that is negative 4 equals 0 divided by 2, we have 0. Okay? So, after natin ma-divide by 2, lahat ng ating terms is pwede na tayong mag-regroup. Okay? So, pagtatabihin natin yung ating x terms. So, that is x squared minus 4x. Then, yung ating y. Minus 2y. Then, pwede na natin ilipat sa right side yung ating constant that is equal to 4. Okay, so after natin ma-regroup yan guys, so pwede na natin i-apply yung ating completing the square. Okay, so ang 
formula natin dyan is B over 2 square. So, sa x natin, ang B natin dito is yung negative 4. So, that is negative 4 divided by 2. That is negative 2. Then, square, we have 4. So, mag-add tayo ng 4 dito sa ating x terms. So, we have minus 4x plus 4. Then, sa y naman natin, ang b natin dito is yung negative 2. So, that is negative 2 over 2. So, that is negative 1. Then, squared, we have positive 1. So, i-add natin yung kay y. So, y squared minus 2y plus 1 equals 4. Then, since nag-add tayo ng 4 and 1, Sa right side natin, maglalagay din tayo ng 4 and 1. Okay? So, after natin mag-complete ng square, so, yung ating trinomial dito is parehas, parehas na silang perfect square trinomial. Which means, pwede natin i-rewrite yan in terms of square of binomials. Okay? So, dito naman sa ating uh, x, we have x, then square root ng 4, we, we have 2. Then, since negative yung ating middle term, so, minus yung ating operation. Okay? So, dito naman sa pangalawa, we have square root ng y square, that's y. Square root ng 1, we have 1. Then, since negative yung ating middle term, that is negative. Okay? Then, we have 4 plus 4 plus 1, that is positive 9. So, ito na ngayon yung ating standard form. Okay? So, where h is equal to 2, k is equal to 1, and yung r natin, or yung r square natin is equal to 9, where r is equal to 3. Then, ang center natin is makikita kay 2, 1. Okay? So, naintindihan ba guys? So, this is the end of our video. If you have questions or clarifications, kindly put them on the comment section below. So, I hope may natutunan kayo guys. So, thank you guys for watching. This is Prof. D. I'll catch you on the flip side. Bye!